Hello YouTube, this is Alex Nald again. Today I want to talk here about uh, some device I purchased uh, from Portugal from EVB uh, Electronic. Uh, this thing is um, air thermometer and it was made by Bob Parker and Dick Smith and uh, it's allowed to you it allows to you to test some capacitor and this one has the feature to test some uh, batteries because it's provided with this little module which permits to the capacitor to be charged slowly and don't uh, without shocking the, the circuit. Unfortunately this one is not a kit and uh, I purchased it like that uh, from uh, EVB Portugal and um, unfortunately it was absolutely not working which uh, makes me very disappointed because I was waiting this stuff uh, for a long time. And um, what I realize is that this device is built by many people as you can see on this little box. And uh, um, uh, those people are uh, contribute, they are very nice people. Uh, as you can see, this is a nice people. And they are contribute. They contribute to work with uh, in electronic devices like this, and it uh, give some work to those kind of people, which is very nice. But actually, what I realized is that this device seems to be not tested before sent, because just after receiving this stuff, I put a battery inside, and this device didn't work. So. After pushing the button a long time, like this, you will see normally when this uh, device has a, f uh, a failure, you will see F2 on the screen, which indicates to you a very uh, a a a bad charging of this capacitor, and the f uh, it will indicate to you that then the default comes from this area. And uh, of course, if you uh, go to the site, you can see on the site that there is a lot of kind of error and the F2, as you can see, uh, indicate that the capacitor 10 uh, uh, didn't charge or charge slowly. And uh, it, it said to you that uh, there is mainly something wrong or a bad uh, bad component or maybe a bad value. In my case, this is not a bad value because I checked all those components. I spent a lot of time to spend all of this component and you can understand that I don't really want to spend a lot of time uh, to fix a stuff um, which normally is, is, uh, normally is working, which is very frustrating. So I made a lot of research on this PCB. Uh, uh, fortunately, this is a very little PCB. And uh, what I did is because I, I tested some component and checked here, checked a lot of component here, but also it didn't work. So what I did is just to redo to redo all the solder joint. I redo absolutely all the solder joint. And despite the fact this seems to be very good, actually, the PCB seems to be very nice. And despite of it, I choose to redo all this uh, solder joint and, and this device begins to work very nice. And of course, I'm very happy with it because I didn't uh, I didn't want to ask a refund to this to the seller of this stuff. This is a very nice stuff actually. It helps you to check capacitors, and this one has the feature to uh, help you to see the internal resistance of in in a in rechargeable battery or other stuff. So. This uh, video is just talking about the fact that this device seems to be not checked before sent. I don't want to bash anything about the manufacturer. This is a very nice product. Uh, this is the tool number one you need to have on your workbench. Uh, it can help you in a lot of stuff. 
I don't want to bash anything. Just to tell you, if you have any problem with this kind of device, just redo all the solder joints on the back of this PCB and the problem will disappear. Of course, there is a many of, uh, a lot of other trouble, but in this case, if you have F2, just uh, this is uh, mainly a, a bad joint and uh, it the, the problem disappear and now i can pr i can take a profit of my very nice uh, evb eslo ohm meter which can normally help me to uh, to see in the batteries if uh, there is a good esl or not so um, this is uh, just a short video talking about this kind of failure which can which can make you very uh, frustrated and uh, okay i'm very happy of uh, this device and uh, and that's all for today so to alexander again uh, and see you see you soon